Are you curious to know why magic mushrooms make you feel nauseated? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down a few reasons as to why that is. This is Plant Medicine Life, and if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more psychedelic education. Let's dive right in. Mushrooms in general are comprised of a fibrous substance called chitin. Now, chitin is a modified polysaccharide that makes up for most of the cell walls of fungi. Now, chitin is extremely hard to digest. A 2018 study came out and showed that it can cause an inflammatory and an immune response in humans. Paul Stamets added to that and said that eating raw mushrooms or raw mycelium can cause potential damage to red blood cells, gastrointestinal problems, even skin rashes. Now, our bodies do have an enzyme called chitinase that helps break down this chitin, but it's not enough to stop the nausea. This is why it's always recommended to thoroughly cook your mushrooms before consuming them. But name some mushrooms that lose its potency when you cook them. Oh wait. This is why a lot of people have some methods to help their tummy out before consumption. Some do a lemon tag, which if you don't know what that is, it's powdered mushrooms into lemon juice because the lemon juice has a similar pH as your stomach acid, so they're basically pre-digesting it before consuming. Some like to do it in a tea, where you put it in a tea bag so you're not actually consuming this fiber substance, though there is some controversy around loss of potency, but that's still up for debate. There's also ginger, which is known to be anti-nausea, or there's also bromelain, which is an enzyme I'm found in pineapple that can aid in digestion as well. <laughs> but that's not all, because if it was just the chitin, then regular medicinal or edible mushrooms would make us feel nauseated as well. When we ingest magic mushrooms, a psilocybin gets broken down into psilocin. Now, psilocin activates your serotonin receptors in your body. Now, only 5% of serotonin receptors are located in your brain. The other 95% are located in your gastrointestinal tract. Now, increase of serotonin stimulates your GI tract and can cause nausea and other stomach-related issues, such as vomiting, upset stomach, appetite changes, just to name a few. Also, the mere process of breaking down the psilocybin into the psilocin also causes nausea as well. So you really have this like triple whammy going on. So there are a lot of methods that I mentioned previous that do help break it down to lessen the nausea, but it's not going to make it go away completely. So eating healthy before and after a journey is always the best bet. Nothing greasy, nothing fried, nothing processed. I mean, after all, your body's going through a lot just to bring you through this journey, so be kind. 